Hello and welcome to another video. Now today I'm going to share with you what I believe is the number one best food you can feed to your newts or salamanders and that is these. They're earthworms. And when I say earthworms they are not, and I repeat, they are not dendrobina worms. Dendrobinas are a composting worm. No, 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 no. Now if you buy earthworms from a reptile food supplier or perhaps from a fishing shop you can also get them from there what you'll normally get is dendrobina worms dendrobinas produce a natural mucus which is actually meant to deter predators it tastes horrible to stop things from eating them so how can that be a great food to give to your animals these things earthworms taste much much better mm. when i say earthworms i'm talking about worms that live in the earth not composting worms okay the one that you may well have heard of lumbicus terrestris the common earthworm that's a great species but there's also several others that you may encounter if you go out and collect your own earthworms the easiest way to collect your own worms is simply by grabbing a spade turning over the top six inches or so of soil and as long as the ground isn't too dry or it isn't frozen then you're likely to find worms like this now, as well as tasting great, earthworms also have a great nutritional content. Oh yeah. So all around, I believe this is the absolute best food. For what, Miss Trenchbar? For this newt, you piss worm! So how do we go about preparing earthworms? Well, they can be quite big, as you can see. Um, particularly the common earthworm, Lumbicus terrestris, it does get quite big. <laughs> You also get some smaller ones normally if you go and collect your own worms. So what I tend to do is I'll pick out some of the bigger worms for some of the biggest newts. And then I might have a tank with, let's say I've got a tank with three newts in it. I've got three nice big fat earthworms there. But what will generally happen if I just chuck those into a tank is a newt will come along, they'll grab one end of one of the worms and then another newt will come along and grab the other end. And then you have this tug of war where they're trying to get it off each other and can sometimes end up biting each other when they squabble over food and um, they can possibly cause some damage to each other. So it's much better to cut the worms into smaller pieces. What can also happen if you've got uh, whole worms like that, as I say, if I've got three newts and I want to give them a worm each, what may well happen is one eats two, another one eats one and one gets none at all. So what I do is a, just using a pair of scissors, I cut them up into several smaller pieces. So doing it like that, uh, they're more likely to get a more even amount of food per newt, uh, rather than one newt getting two or three worms and another one getting nothing. Mm -hmm. 